welcome back guys to another video today we are making that's right that piece of salmon here we're gonna cut this up so let's get started so you take your knife and we're gonna make some fillets now this salmon has no skin on it because what we're making would not do good if it had skin on the bottom all right so just so you guys know i've never made this recipe before so this is a new one for me but we're gonna do it together so first we're gonna take some salt to season add some pepper all right so the first step is we're gonna go ahead and get some oil in the pan we have to cook the salmon you want to get that to a medium high heat so the pan is hot so now we're gonna take our beautiful salmon pieces and so you let those cook for about three to four minutes on each side. You can watch here. As you can see here, it's starting to cook. So if you see it gets halfway up into the salmon, then you wanna flip it. Salmon is really easy to dry out and it's not very good when people dry it out. I can't stand it dry, so you wanna make sure you cook it just perfecto. All right, so as you can see here, it's kinda of cooked, so we're gonna go ahead and flip it. And then just let those cook for a little bit. I wanna give a huge shout out. I had a little giveaway and this was the winner. I want to thank you for the support and thank you for watching. All right, so now we're going to remove the fillets out of the pan onto a different plate. Turn this down a little bit. Now we're going to add butter. Butter, butter, butter. Butter, and then we're going to add some garlic. Shouldn't be that hot, but it is good. Make sure you turn the heat down. You can see it's going down. Now we're going to add a one small onion. You want to cook these so they're translucent and what that means is they're kind of see-through-ish. You know they're not super hard. So now you're going to add some sun-dried tomatoes. You can use regular tomatoes but I'm going to use canned sun-dried tomatoes. You're going to cook these for about one to two minutes so they can release the flavor. And make sure you drain the oil. You do canned now we are going to add one third cup of vegetable broth into it. I'm gonna let that simmer. It smells amazing. I don't know what it tastes like, but I'm hoping it tastes amazing as it smells. Because I have cooked some dinners and my kids and everybody and Jose can vouch that it smells amazing. But it doesn't taste as good as it smells. All right, now that that's lowered, we're going to add one third fourth cup of heavy cream into it. So once that's in, you're just gonna stir it up some. All right, so now we're going to add baby spinach to it. Three cups. So, I don't know how you measure, but one. I mean, how do you measure spinach? You know, it kind of, I don't know, about three, right? Sounds about right. And then you're gonna cook that until it wilts. Now we just let that cook. Yeah, so as you can see, I don't know what I'm doing. So I have my computer here and I have the recipe here. So that's what I'm following because I never cooked it. And I will be doing a new recipe. Um, I wanna say next week I had a fan send me her recipe and I'm going to try it. So if you want me to try your recipe, put it down in the comments or send me an email or a uh, inbox on my social media and I will try your recipe. So now you're gonna add one half cup of Parmesan on top and cook for another minute. So now you're going to take your salmon and you're gonna add it back into the pan like that. Put some on top so you can get the flavor. And dinner is done. Now you can have this like this. You can make rice, you can make vegetables, you can make pasta, you can do whatever your heart desires. And look at this beautiful masterpiece. Salmon looks amazing, sauce looks amazing. Now we just gotta plate it and we're gonna try it and see what it tastes like. Our salmon, we want some extra spinach on the bottom. You know, as a chef, you would wipe around the sides, right? And you plate it much differently. But okay. we're gonna go ahead and try it. This was Gordon Ramsay, she'll be thrown out. You ain't lying. For that plate, look at that, look at that drip, <laughs> look at that drip. All right, bon appetit. It's really good. Something about salmon, it has like that fishy taste too, which I'm not a huge fan of, but a lot of people like that. But it still has really good flavor. It's nice. Everything tastes really well together. Probably be good with some vegetables or something like that. But if you try it, let me know. If you've tried it, let me know as well. And that's it for this video, guys. So I hope you liked it. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. And until next time, I'll see you guys.